NASA invited me to the SpaceX CRS-10 launch at the Kennedy Space Center. So I booked a room on the Space Coast with an ocean view, found a bar with live music, and got ready to have a blast. 6 a.m. on the day before launch, I went to the Astronaut Training Center, got my credential, and began a marathon day of tours around the 200-square-mile Space Center, ending up at Launch Complex 39A, which is leased by Elon Musk's SpaceX. 39A is where the rocket is. I cannot wait to see it. But first, I went to the NASA News Center to learn about the instruments and science experiments the Dragon capsule is bringing to the International Space Station, including this experiment. We are excited to put MRSA on, which is a superbug, on the International Space Station and investigate the effects of microgravity on the growth and mutation patterns of these bugs. Yep, we were shooting the MRSA virus into space. But don't worry, I listened to the presentation and it's totally cool. Then it was time to visit the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. The building is massive, like Death Star massive. In fact, George Lucas visited it for inspiration when he created the Death Star. At the VAB, NASA is completing the new Space Launch System, or SLS, which will be the most powerful rocket in the world, strong enough to launch a spacecraft destined for Mars, which NASA intends to do as early as next year. I asked retired NASA quality engineer Greg Hale why he loves rockets so much. It's hard to explain. Once, once, you, once you smell that rocket fuel one time, you'll never go back. I couldn't wait to smell it myself. But first, I was taken to visit Launch Complex 39B, which is where NASA plans to fire up the SLS. The launch pad was empty, so I could see where the fire actually shoots out of the rocket. Then I got to meet Regina Spellman, Senior Project Manager at Launch Complex 39B. I hear a lot of people like to say that the sky is the limit, but for us, the sky is not the limit, and neither are you. You can do anything you set your mind to, and anything that your heart desires. You cannot believe how excited everyone is at NASA, but I was excited too, because now it was finally time to visit Launch Complex 39A. I was taken past the SpaceX hangar and got to watch the president of SpaceX, Gwen Shotwell, and director of Kennedy Space Center, Robert Cabana, give a press conference. And the whole time, I was looking at the rocket, because there it was, right in front of me, and it was going into space, tomorrow at 10 a.m. I was very excited. The day had already been very long, but it was still not over, because I was invited to come back at 1 a.m. to look at the rocket at night, so I killed a few hours off-site. <laughs> And then went back to the Space Center to see the rocket, all lit up, and vertical, ready to blast into space. I was deliriously tired and wired on adrenaline and maybe a little bit of tequila, but mostly I was just excited, and before I knew it, it was launch day. I returned to the press site, the closest place to the launch that humans are allowed to go, about three miles away. Everyone was so excited. It was finally here. The countdown was on. Ten, to be nine, well. eight, eight, seven, seven six. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Well, you know, it's still Hold. Oh. Get out of here. Launch has been aborted. No. Are you serious? 24 hour scrub turnaround. 24 hour scrub turnaround. The launch was scrubbed with 13 seconds left on the clock and pushed to the next day. And I was supposed to go back to New York. So I rearranged my travel plans and had a bonus night on the Space Coast. Let's go space The next morning, it was raining. Launch was supposed to happen in about an hour, and I was trapped on the press bus, thinking, there's no way I'm going to see this rocket go up. But then the skies cleared. SpaceX reported that they were still a go for launch, with the caveat that the chance was still 50-50, because they all know that a launch can always get scrubbed down to the last second. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 17, 16, oh my god. 15, oh my god. 14, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh my God, it's going!
wasn't even over, because that rocket was coming back down to land on the land a few miles away from me. It was too cloudy to see, but a rocket landing is not about the view necessarily. It's about the sonic boom you hear and feel in your bones. That was a long journey, but it happened. <laughs> So that was my first rocket launch. I can't wait for the next. You should catch one too. They're a real blast. Let's go space track and go. Come on. Come on. Space track.